Hey guys, it's Bill Allen with Evolve Lab, and today I wanted to show you guys the tag calculated value parameter that Autodesk introduced a few years ago. Now, this is a really sweet feature that was well welcomed, and it's something that is super helpful, especially for like occupancy load factors, occupancy loads, as well as trying to tell the difference maybe between program area versus actual area delta difference. So today, let's go ahead and take a look at that. So in here in my Revit project, I have uh, just a, a regular Revit room tag. I'm going to go ahead and click on this and say edit family. And what I'm going to do is I am going to add the program parameter uh, to this first. Then I'm going to divide the program area by the area giving us our delta difference. So let's go ahead and go to the um, click on our label and say edit label. And then we're going to go ahead and create a new parameter label in here. So we'll say select. Here is the program area that I've already created uh, and added to my shared parameter file. So you want to make sure you've done that. If you haven't already, make sure you create a program area shared parameter. So we'll say OK. And this is going to be a area type of parameter. And I'm going to go ahead and load this in here. And then I'm going to go ahead and change this sample value, say, to 200 and call for the suffix, we'll say program area. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this sweet calculated value parameter. So I can add this. And then in here, I can say uh, delta. And this is going to be area. And we're going to say program area minus area. Now I could type this in, but what's really sweet about this function is there's no chance for me to fat finger this. I'm actually grabbing that parameter, plus it's a little quicker than typing in program area, uh, depending on how quick of a typer you are. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put in a sample value of 50, and we'll call this delta. And the other thing we wanna put in is a break right here, so that way these parameters stack really nicely. So we'll say okay, and you will see we have our area, our program area, our delta difference. Let's go ahead and load that into our Revit project. And then the next step what we'll need to do is uh, add these values uh, to our Revit schedule. So I'll go ahead and open up my Revit room schedule. Okay, so here in my Revit room schedule, I have levels, department, name, number. Let's go ahead and drop in that program area, which we just added to our project. So we'll drop in program area. Um, I'll also bring in area. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to also create a calculated value here, which will be my delta. Type parameter is going to be area. And very similar to the last time, we're just going to say program area minus area and this that way we don't fat finger this and make sure we get the right parameters in here we'll say okay and then that will give us those three parameters program area versus area versus the delta difference so now if i have my program area that i'm able to populate in here you can see i get the difference and then further what i can do is i can actually say as a formatting i can say hey Anything that is the delta difference, so I can say anything that's a delta difference of uh, anything that's a delta difference of less than zero, make that red, and we'll say okay, okay, and okay. There we go. And then so now you can see if I have uh, certain values that I go over for my program, it will actually flag that. And what I can do is I can actually tile these. I'll go ahead and close this room tag now. And if there are certain 
uh, spaces that I need to look into because they have exceeded my program area, I can click on that and it will highlight it in my project. And I can look further into that one of trying to get that area to match. And then also on my floor plan, I'm also getting the area, the program area and delta difference as well. Um, so in that case, as I'm updating my floor plan in real time, it's doing the calculations both in my room tag as well as in the Revit room schedule, helping me to get to that very nice optimized number. I hope that's helpful for you. If you wanna learn more about Evolve Lab or other training resources we have, please check out evolvelab.io. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like and subscribe. That way you get notified for future free videos that we post. I hope you guys have a great day and a great week. Take care, bye-bye.